In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the stick passing concept or the triangular read uh, concept at a tight offset tight end. This concept is super effective if your opponent is starting to try to defend the sidelines. This is a great concept for you to run to attack kind of that middle uh, of the field against really any defense, but it's also really good against zone. And we are going to show you a way to beat man coverage using this as well. Now, if you want to get my entire tight offset tight end offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. That will be linked down in the description below. 10 bucks gets you access to everything in the Patreon. Everything uh, for just 10 bucks, all the ebooks, everything that you need to be successful. Now, let's talk about how we're going to run the stick play. And really, it's um, you can run it out of a couple different plays, honestly, in this formation. I personally really like to run it out of the play uh you could do it out of mesh spot you could do it out of saint spot shake you could do it out of really anything uh but my personal favorite play is still pa shot seams but i'm going to show you how to run it if you don't have hot route master i'm going to show you how to run it out of saints drive out okay so stick is a super super practical concept because it does such a good job at creating uh triangles in different pockets against the defense. So how do I like to run this play? Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to post our slot receiver on the running back side. That post is a key piece of this, okay? That's going to be the vertical route in the stick concept. And you can, if you want to, post the left receiver, uh, but I like to just simply post the, uh, the slot. OK, then what we're going to do is one of two things. It's honestly up to you. You can either do a hitch to that left receiver and a table route to your running back or like any kind of flat, whatever. Just get him to the flat. OK, or you could do a flat to that receiver and then you could take your running back and put him on a streak or a wheel route. Okay, and that's where that mesh spot comes in because if you wanted to use the wheel route in that formation, then you could do it like that, okay? So we could do it like that, uh, just like this right here. And then on the right side, you've got a couple different options as well. You can hitch um, CD Lamb and then run it just like that. Uh, this right here is really good because this route to Kittle is going to pull any deep halves, any uh, deep quarter zones, anything. It's going to pull everything back. Uh, and really stretch the zones. You can streak George Kittle if you want to as well. And then you could also um, take or leave CeeDee Lamb on that out route that he was on. Uh, so a lot of different ways to run this play. But really the core of the play is we want to throw this post against man coverage. That's the basic piece of this is that if they run man coverage, we're going to be taking that post route um, or we're going to be taking, you know, maybe that that corner route to George Kittle. And my favorite way to run it is to simply post Tyree Kill, uh, and then we're going to hitch here and table out the back. I think I think the hitch is still a really good read. Um, most people are going to know the seam wheel is probably coming, so just keep that in mind. But what this does is if they if they play off coverage, you can throw this route to Ceedee Lamb against man to man. This also is going to stretch the zones horizontally and vertically at the same time. So if you get a coverage like this, this is very popular for people that are trying to take away your sideline throws. Everyone knows in tight that you can throw corner routes. So, you know, this is a great play uh, for any kind of like double flat coverage. So if it's double flat, then we're going to have basically this hitch on the left side. Once they see the running backs on the table route, they're gonna move to the middle of the field. They're not gonna expect this hitch. So just take the hitch right there, boom. Easy read, easy, easy, easy read, okay? If they see that running back running a little seam wheel or running back streak, at this point in the year, a lot of people are just gonna sit on that. I'm just telling you, they're just gonna sit on that. Now, if you want to run the running back streak, I wanna make a little bit of a recommendation to you. If you wanna run the seam wheel or the running back streak, go ahead and make sure that you put the right side on this concept. So if we're gonna run the seam wheel or the running back streak, what we're gonna do is we're gonna post uh, Tyree Kill, we're going to streak our running back. You can even leave Christian Kirk on his route or put him on a flat, okay? Then on the right side, this is really important, make sure you're running the hitch 
and ideally the streak. Okay, and the reason why is because you can then playmaker this hitch to the left side if they mess up their defense on it. Okay, so that ability to playmaker the hitch against the zone is really valuable because oftentimes a user is going to have to go guard the running back, which I'll show that real quick. The user is going to have to go guard the running back. And what this is going to do if they have to go guard the running back is now the entire middle of the field is open, right? So you can just playmaker that hitch wherever you want. So, I mean, you can run it like this if you want to. This is still going to be a really good concept and still kind of get us at that stick piece. And then now all we're going to do is say, okay, now we can just playmaker that stick route over the middle of the field. This is really, really, really good for any kind of drop eight zone coverage that you're going to face. Another popular coverage that a lot of people are going to against tight is this kind of like cover three, or not cover three, I apologize, cover four uh, coverage with their user in the middle of the field. Now, this stick play is going to do a really good job at attacking this. And this is, again, where I really like to put this hitch over here, and you could do whatever you want on the backside. You could do a streak and a hitch, or I apologize, you could do a flat and a hitch, or a wheel and a seam route. It's the same basic area of the field. Uh, but now what we're able to do is now the user is literally in no man's land. They can't be right. Uh, and that's another piece of it. It's like, and, and, and again, I, I haven't shown the triangular read here, but if we look at this in instant replay, you're gonna notice that this is a triangle. There is the clear route, and we have a triangle between the post, the curl, and the curl. Or we also have a triangle, more of an obtuse triangle with this right here. And you can take the running back. Another thing you can do um, is with the new wheel route, you can actually do the seam wheel. So you'll see here, if you watch, this will create that triangle. And now the running back will actually beat uh, man coverage over the top a lot of times. He'll at least have space to be able to throw the ball over the top. That's how I like to run the stick concept out of tight offset, tight end. If you want to get my entire tight offset offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. You can head down to the description and go click the link down below.